Hello all, my name is Tilton Wiley, better known as Jeanne Darlings II, and I am a transgendered woman. I attended Hilliard Darby High School, and I was asked to explain my high school experience, some of the things that I experienced, and how my overall attitude towards high school was just in general. I would say that I did not have very many problems when I went to high school, at least after I was able to handle those situations. I think that the biggest issue I had when going to high school was just being able to learn more about who I am as an individual. I think that high school is definitely the time in a transgender woman's life where she really has to begin to find herself and begin to morph into the person that she really wants to be. A couple of the questions that I was asked was, did I face any discrimination? I definitely will say I did face a little bit of discrimination and it was more so towards the fact that I was too much of an individual in comparison to everybody else. You know, I really didn't stick to the general portrayed rules because I didn't feel that that was what worked for me. I was always one to think out of the box. I always enjoyed being in the performances. I was a cheerleader when I was in soft, I, I joined the cheerleading team my sophomore year of high school, uh, all the way into my senior year of high school. So that was definitely a great outlet for me and being able to just express myself and being able to, once again, morph into that person that I wanted to be. Another one of the questions was, did rules change? One of the cool things <laughs> I will say that did change, uh, specifically in in the sense of my cheerleading, I remember um, looking back at the school planner because it, at Hilliard Darby they give out school planners and that's you know how you use for the hall passes and things of that nature but I remember looking in the um in the course log I think it was and I noticed that competition and basketball and football cheerleading were not just for the girls but it was also for the boys and I feel that that really was a spark in my mind letting me know that yes you are definitely making changes you are definitely opening doors for other people to join and um actually there was another male who did end up joining the competition team i believe in my junior year and it was an overall amazing experience um another one of the questions were how did students and school staff treat you? Um, students, first. Students, I feel, really didn't have much of a choice in how they were going to handle me because I didn't really care. <laughs> I guess you could say I didn't really care what the students thought of me because I, I had already come to the conclusion on who I was. So to me, it was like, you know, I'm not going home. First of all, I'm not going home with you. Second of all, you're not doing anything within my household. So you have no verdict upon what it is that I do or who it is that I decide to be. And as far as the staff, I, as, um, as I had mentioned earlier, my freshman year, I definitely went through a time where there I was in the office constantly where I had a lot of um, staff members who eventually came to my knowledge were actually talking about me and I don't know I honestly I don't know whether it was good things or whether it was bad things but I know at the end of the day they were still talking and I know at the beginning it kind of felt like oh well you know, for you all to be staff members, that's a bit, it's a bit upsetting to want to be able to attend a school where I can feel comfortable, but yet 
the staff members who are supposed to be the ones who are supposed to come to my rescue are then talking about me. But as time went on and I learned more about my staff members and more about uh, particular individuals who were a part of my team, um, you know, I definitely came to the conclusion that you have to pick and choose who it is you want to give certain information to. And you also have to pick and choose who it is that you want to personally indulge your enlightenment to, you know, because not everybody is able to just have a conversation with a transgendered woman because it, 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 it doesn't necessarily come up because it, that it sometimes can become a bit of an awkward situation, but I definitely will say that I learned very well and I learned very soon that Nobody would be able to tell me that I can't do what felt right. Nobody could tell me that. And I was always one to stand for my ground. I was always one to make sure that I did not get bullied. And I made sure the next person who was either within my shoes, close to my shoes, or a part of the community within my shoes didn't get bullied as well. So, with that being said, I would like to thank you all for your time. I hope that I was very informative, and this is just a snippet of what Ms. Darlings has to offer to the community, to the state, to the nation, and to the world. And I thank you. Bye-bye.